<laughs> Sustainer for my father. <clears throat> Who's up for a sing along? Yeah? Okay. So, this has a chorus. I can't sing, but I'm going to sing the chorus and I want you to sing it back to me. Okay? It goes like this. Maybe the island is hard to find in English. Maybe the island is hard to find in English. One more time. Maybe the island is hard to find in English. There must be a reason you didn't return to Jamaica. Must be a reason you only let your children visit the island where their accents pronounced money, where their light skin absorbed British born privilege and returned them to London with darker alien faces, never feeling more English. On the plane back to London, you admit that you didn't recognize the air. Much changed in 15 years. Your memories were made of different air. First time at 14,000 feet, you looked down on Jamaica and saw the country you kept in photographs change when your English improved. It was then you realized how much you let go of the island, that you still taste in mangoes, that you long for, when you are returned to hospital, years later, diagnosed with prostate cancer, turning off a light, not knowing who or what will turn it on again. And you light cigarettes, lying in your bed, trying to change the air. You want to hear your children say more of your name before you are returned as something that doesn't exist. Like the way you remember Jamaica, in another colour, at another pace. Maybe the island is hard to find in English. Let's go again. Maybe the island is hard to find in English. Maybe the island is hard to find in English. Not that you would trade your language because the way English moved into your mouth gave you a house where the light always worked and opportunities were scarce on your island. And you admit that you were one of the people them that need hot air and the Caribbean ocean won't be going anywhere. Jamaica will always be a place that you can be returned to. You'll leave and work for a few years like your friend Country, who returned home and bought yachts with English money that made him move like a superstar in Jamaica. And you weren't afraid of work, but you had never been cold in daylight. Warnings you received said nothing will prepare you for the air when you leave life on this island. And you laughed and said, you're not worried. England is just another island and you'll move with the air of a man who could buy yachts when you are a bit English. And you use the same words in light conversations with the friends you were leaving in Jamaica. And you left the island for so long, you couldn't bend your English with your patois in another shape when you returned. And now, you are turning off the light above the seat on the plane, 20,000 feet in the air. It is the last time you'll see Jamaica. Let's go one more time. Maybe the island is hard to find in English. One more time. Maybe the island is hard to find. Thank you so much.